What is going on gamers, RC Styles here, and today I have for you three weeks worth of Fortnite challenges, uh, being because I kind of haven't been on for a while, plus that the new format was a little bit different, so I had to get used to it. So we're on the XP Quest challenges page right now, but all the challenges off of a app on my phone. You can also get this app too, it is available in your Play and your Apple Eye store as well. It is an app called Squatting Companion. So I am in one, and the list of quests that they gave us for week number one are as follows. You may still even be able to do some of these. You have to look through your personal list. But they are discover name location. You need to find five of those. Talk to three characters. Collect 500 gold bars. Get three shotgun eliminations. Get 500 damage with assault rifles. Uh, get a sniper elimination from 150 meters. Get explosive damage to structures. You need 1,000 points worth of damage. And then the first legendary first legendary challenge for week one was to collect bounties. And there was a series of 5, 10, and 15 bounties on that one. You may or may not still be able to do those. I am not sure if they just cancel out week to week or if they're just covered over with the next week's challenges. Uh, you'll have to figure that one out for yourself. So we're going to back out of that one. Jumping right into week number two. Week number two's challenges. We had to destroy mailboxes. You had to get five of those. Plant the evidence in Caddy Corner. Or and the other one was... Not sure where the other one was. Let me find out real quick. Or Flush Factory. That's right. The Flush Factory is back in game. And now, we want to continue on with what those challenges were. I apologize for it. Find car parts. You need to find three of those. Deliver a vehicle from Steamy Stacks to Pleasant Park. Next, we want to drive through Flaming Rings. You only need one of those. Find clues in Pleasant Park and Holly Hedges. Destroy dog houses. You need to destroy three of those. And the legendary challenge for that week is damage with legendary weapons or better. And when they say or better, they're talking about mythic weapons here. So we're going to back out. And finally, the third week of challenges is going to consist of, and these should be showing up on your screen as of right now. And those are damage players with assault rifles or SMGs, get headshot damage to players with pistols, destroy toilets, you need to get three of those, loot chests in craggy cliffs or holly hedges, eliminations with rare, bleh, rare weapons or greater, eliminations while in a vehicle, loot ammo boxes in salty towers or coliseum. And then your legendary challenges, bleh, eliminate players while in a vehicle. Uh, this could be a very easy challenge to complete, especially now for Winterfest, a.k.a. Snowdown, Operation Snowdown, rather. You have access to airplanes again, uh, so that could be a very easy challenge to complete. In addition to the weekly challenges, you will notice that you also get daily challenges in this, and I'm going to touch on those real quick as well. <coughs> Let me pull that up for you real quick. Your daily challenges are quick challenges, and they seem to rotate as there are some specific ones this time, not just harvesting or uh, shooting damage challenges. And they are as follows. You need to find gnomes in salty sands. You need to collect maple syrup buckets in weeping woods. Find a maple syrup stash at Hunter's Haven. Place a camera near the beachside mansion. Place a wiretap on any of the telephone poles near Holly Hedges. And you also need to retrieve an evidence case from Misty Meadows. These are your rotating quick challenges. I am not going to go over any of the Spy Within challenges, as I've already done another video on those. But if you stick around for a little while, we're going to be right back with an actual overview of the Operation Snowdown challenges. You've already seen the Snowdown Operation Snowdown Has Arrived video that I posted earlier. So just stick around for that next one. In addition, we will also have a Fortnite fuckery tonight, and where we're going to get some of these challenges completed that will be taking place after a 
dual Friday Night Frights. Yes, me and Crowley both are doing individual games for Friday Night Frights tonight. Be sure to check those out on our individual pages as well as the Gamers Purgatory main page. I'm going to remind you all to hit the like and subscribe button. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on more Fortnite updates and kick-ass content for me and the Gamers Purgatory staff. Make sure you check the description below for a link to our Discord. And as always, I will be seeing you in the next video coming up sooner than you think.